It is Monday, and today we are reviewing Perimeter. And so we've done a lot of work with Perimeter and Area, and today we're just doing another review. So Perimeter, perimeter is the distance around the, around the outside of the shape. So let's look at our example here. It is the distance all around the outside of our shape. So right here we have a rectangle. And you can see that we need to add the sides. That is going to give us our perimeter. So let's read the directions. It said find it says find the perimeter of each shape by adding the lengths of each side. Be sure to include the units in your answer. So when we are working with perimeter of any shape, it's our job to add up all of the sides. Whether it's a polygon or if it's a rectangle or a square or if it's one of those like kind of um, different shapes that has more like a perimeter, like a polygon that has more than four sides, okay? So when we look at letter A, we are adding up six plus four plus five. So six plus four, I always like to do numbers little by little. So I know that six plus four is 10, okay? That tells me that all I need to do here is add the five. 10 plus five is 15. All right, perfect, 15 cm centimeters. Remember, it's always important to write the units in our answer. Let's move on to the next one. Remember, when we are using, or when we are doing perimeter, we are measuring the outside of the shape. So looking at this polygon, I can see right away that each side is nine feet, okay? Nine feet on all four sides. So we could do it a couple of different ways. We could add nine plus nine plus nine plus nine. Or we could say nine times four, let's delete that, is equal to 36 feet. So we could use um, multiplication when the numbers are all the same. All right, let's look at this shape. This shape has one, two, three, four, five, five sides, which is a pentagon, okay? And when we have more sides, it can be a little bit trickier to add them up. So I actually added them up in two different ways for us. So when we are adding our shapes, it's important to make sure that we have aligned all of our numbers um, so that it makes sense for when we're adding. So here I can, am adding four plus six plus five, like we did here. Six plus four is 10. We add the five. That gives us 15. I need to carry our one up here. So the one in red is the one that I'm carrying, and that is going to be added to our tens place here, which gives us one, two, three, which gives us a total of 35. So we can delete this now. Perfect, 35 inches, okay? So I just wrote it a different way. I wrote it vertical, going up and down instead of horizontal. Whichever way seems to work in your head and your mind is the best way for you. I just like showing you options when you're adding more than four numbers. Okay, let's move on to D. So when it comes to having two sides of the same, um, with the same number, for me, for Ms. Ortega, it's easier for me to add them um, together. And so I said 10 plus 10, 12 plus 12. I know 10 plus 10 is 20, okay? I'm gonna keep that in my brain. And then I'm gonna add 12 plus 12. I know that 12 plus 12 is 24. I need to add 20 plus 24, which would give us 44, mm, 44 millimeters, mm, okay? So this is another kind of strategy when you're adding your 
numbers for your sides for your perimeter. Let's look at letter E. So letter E also has two sides with the same number. That helps us because then it's easier for us to start piecing together the numbers. So I see two, four, three, and four for our four sides. So I put two plus three here. I know that gives us five. And then I'm gonna add four plus four and that gives us eight, which gives us a total of 13 kilometers. Okay, let's move on to this one. So this is another one, this is another polygon that has more than four sides. So I did write it two different ways to kind of help us here. So looking here, I see six, three, four, eight, and four. So what I did is I took this here. So I did four plus four is eight. Then I carried the eight over here. And then I added six plus three which is nine. This helps us better kind of um, add up our sides and our, um, to help us find the perimeter because it kind of um, gives us a better understanding of what numbers we have left. So now I'm adding eight plus eight plus nine. Eight plus eight is 16 plus nine gives us a total of 25 feet. So these are just some strategies and kind of a review to help us kind of jog our memory on how we add or how we um, are able to find the perimeter of a shape. All right, third graders, we will see you tomorrow for area.